Crazy Bees, it's Zhang, and grilling season is pretty much here. Today, I'm gonna share eight next level hot dogs that will pretty much make you the star of summer. Go ahead and subscribe below, and don't forget to give this video a like if you love hot dogs, because who doesn't love hot dogs? This video was super inspired by a little family outing yesterday with Nate and Aracy. We tried to do a street food um, video at LA Smorgasburg, but Erisi was cranky, she was tired. I think just being out, it was so hot um, that she was just at an unfamiliar place and uh, she kinda had a meltdown. So we pretty much got some good ideas. I visited this hot dog vendor that had a banh mi hot dog, a Thai hot dog, and some other really fun stuff. And I got so inspired by that that I had to come back and share my own. So first off, we're gonna start with the kimchi dog. This was actually what I bought at LA Smorgasburg yesterday, except I felt like it needed a little extra oomph. All they added was kimchi for kake and then seaweed and a little bit of sesame seeds. I think we can make it better. Not that it was bad, but I think we can kick it up a notch. All right, here I have a hot dog bun. I got this from Whole Foods. It's a brioche bun, so it's a little bit more sturdy, and they cut it on top. I always love when I find hot dog buns that look extra fancy like this, and I feel like it holds it better too. So I'll grab a dog, I'll tuck it in, and then I'll grab a little bit of my shredded mozzarella cheese, layer it on top, then I'll take my kimchi that I've already chopped up. You can add as much or as little as you'd like, but it adds a really nice spicy crunch. And then at this point, because I want the final presentation to look pretty, I'm gonna add my condiments. Here I have a little bit of gochujang sauce that I got from the Target haul way back when, if you remember, I still have a lot of it. <laughs> some mayo, and then we're gonna finish it off with some shredded roasted seaweed and sesame seeds. Is this some next level hot dog or what? Oh man. Okay, so the gochujang acts as our ketchup and then the mayo is kind of like our mustard but because it has that like creamy touch to it, it'll cool down the spiciness of the gochujang and the kimchi. Mm -mm -mm. The roasted seaweed layer also gives it kind of a nice crunch and that very salty bite. This is gonna be so good. I'm gonna save this till the end when I'm gonna pick the favorite to try. There's so many good ones. I can't be eating like eight hot dogs, guys. <laughs> Next up, we have an Italian inspired dog, the bruschetta dog. My hot dog is in the bun, so now I'm gonna add some shredded mozzarella. And then I made some homemade tomato basil bruschetta. It's super easy. Here's how I made it. In a bowl, I added one medium diced tomato, two tablespoons of minced basil. Fresh basil smells so good. One clove of minced garlic, two teaspoons of balsamic vinegar, half a teaspoon of salt, and a nice drizzle of olive oil. I'm just eyeballing this, so about a tablespoon is good. Just mix, mix, mix. So as you let it sit, the liquid will come out, so you don't want any of that because it'll make your bun soggy. So I'm just draining the liquid to the side of the bowl, and now I'll just add some on top of my dog. And that's it. This one is fresh, flavorful, and super easy. Next up is our Thai-inspired hot dog. I found one yesterday that had a little bit different spin. Um, they had mangoes, uh, cucumbers, roasted peanuts. So I thought I would kind of emulate but make it my own. Here I have some peanut sauce. If you guys want the recipe to the sauce and the slaw, I'll leave it in the description box below. I've made something similar to it before on the channel. Drizzle some on my hot dog. Add our slaw. All I have here is some shredded cabbage, um, regular and purple, cucumbers, carrots, and cilantro in a light vinaigrette. Some green onions and our roasted peanuts. The slaw provides a really nice crunch and then the peanut sauce with the roasted peanuts kind of give it that nutty taste. This one I think is a winner. Have you guys ever thought of a fajita dog before? I have the 
dog in a bun already. We're gonna add some cheese. You guys can use shredded Monterey Jack. Um, that would be really good. Mozzarella would be really good. Layer it right on top. And for this one, I'm actually gonna add your classic mustard and ketchup. This totally reminds me of something that we would find at the ballpark. I'll add my fajita toppings. Here's how I made it. All I did was drizzle a little bit of oil into a pan. Then I added half an onion that I've already julienne or sliced, some bell peppers. I like using a mix of red and yellow just for color. Then I sauteed it for a few minutes until it's nice and golden brown and the onions have softened. Then I added in one clove of minced garlic, half a teaspoon of Mexican oregano, a pinch of salt, and I continued cooking it for a few minutes until it was nice and mixed through. And then I'll garnish it with a little bit of cilantro. Hey, I just noticed something. The ketchup and mustard match my bell peppers. This one is savory, hearty, and super delicious. This would be so great for your barbecue cookout. All right, next up, you guys know whenever I do something creative like this, I have to add a Vietnamese option. This one is our bun mi dog. I'm gonna start off by adding some pate to the bun. I got this pate at Whole Foods. Um, they sell it in the cheese section. Just add a generous amount. Spread it out. Maybe just on one side, depending on how much you love pate. And then I'll add mayo to the other side. That was a really cool squiggly that the bottle did. Now I'll grab my dog. And then I have some thinly sliced cucumbers that I'll tuck in the side kind of like a bun mi. Then I have some pickled daikon carrots. If you guys want a video on that, I have a super old one that I'll link at the end. And garnish it with a little bit of cilantro. This almost looks like a real bun mi. I... Ersi agrees. You can totally add sriracha to this if you'd like. I might be trying this later. So the next one is Hawaiian inspired and actually it reminded me of this hot dog shop next to my alma mater called Hula Dog. I don't think it exists anymore but if I were to make a Hula Hawaiian dog, this would be it. All right, so I have my hot dog in a bun and I'm gonna add some teriyaki sauce directly on top. If you guys want the recipe to my teriyaki sauce, I have a video on that. And then I have my tropical topping mixture here. Here's how I made it. All I did was add a quarter cup of mangoes and I cut them into really small pieces, a quarter cup of pineapple, about two tablespoons of red onion, make sure that it's finely minced, a tablespoon of coconut flakes, and half a lime's juice. Then I'll just mix, mix, mix. I'll add it on top, carefully. This reminds me of like a savory pina colada with the pineapple and the coconut. This one's gonna be good and I'm gonna taste this one for sure. And then to garnish, I'm gonna add a little bit of chopped green onions for color. There you go. How bomb does that look? It actually reminds me of something that you would find at a luau. Hawaii is such a melting pot and there's so many different like fusion of flavors. I feel like I would find this in Waikiki. The next one is actually a personal favorite. It's Cali Fresh, the guac dog. Here I already have my hot dog in a bun and then I pre-made my guacamole. If you guys want the recipe for my guacamole, I have a video on that too. I'll link everything at the end. I'll just add some directly on top. Make sure it gets into the sides. You can never have too much guac. And then some Cholula, which I am clearly almost out of and I need to get more. Just a drizzle here and there. Are you guys team Cholula or team Tapatio? Comment below and let me know. All right, this is almost done. We're now going to top it with some fresh cilantro. I love cilantro with my hot dogs, so if you don't like cilantro, go ahead and top it with some green onions or just leave it out. And here's our guac dog. 
It looks messy, but it's full of flavor and it's so delicious. The guac has so much flavor in there. I added cumin, tomatoes, onions, um, jalapenos, and then the extra kick of Cholula will make it like nice and spicy. So our last but not least, my take on a corn dog. Get it? Corn dog? Except I'm not gonna be frying anything, I'm using actual corn. This is my spin on the elote, the street corn. Since we're going with the theme of street food anyway, here's how I made it. All I did was add two tablespoons of mayo into a bowl, followed by two tablespoons of sour cream. You can also swap it out for Greek yogurt if you'd like. Two teaspoons of tahine, which is like this lime chili seasoning that's so good. I got mine at Target, but I think they sell it at pretty much any major grocery store. And then one teaspoon of cumin. I'll mix it up and then I'll add about three cups of fire roasted corn. I'm using frozen corn here, but you can totally get fresh barbecued corn if you'd like. Finally, I'll add about two tablespoons of cotija cheese, which is like Mexican Parmesan cheese, and mix it up again. A little avocado. I already cut it into slices, so I'll layer it on top. Some cheese. And for a pop of color, I was gonna go with cilantro, but I thought green onions would go really well with this. And here's our corn dog. I was gonna make some kind of corny joke, but I couldn't think of anything, so this is what you get. And here is our eight next level hot dogs. I would love to know which one you guys would try this summer. Let's see, I know I also said that I would save a few to try at the end, so I think I'm definitely gonna try the kimchi dog. Set that aside. That one reminds me of like, you know the Chinese bakery where they have like the hot dog in the bun? I'm gonna try our Hawaiian one, our pina colada one. And of course, I have to do banh mi. So let's try that one first. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. The pate and the saltiness of the hot dog really makes this taste like a real banh mi. Mmm. <laughs> like a banh mi tenmoi. If you've ever had that, it's like a ham one. Oh, this is so good. All right, let's try our pina colada one. Mmm. When I brought this up to my nose, I could totally smell the coconut in it. Oh, it smells so good. And then the pineapple and the mangoes give it this sweetness to it. That's kind of like that sweet, salty combination. I really dig this. If you guys are interested in making something different for your barbecue, I highly recommend this. This one has a lot going on. <laughs> I see. That one was good. I love the salty, spicy, super spicy crunch from the um, kimchi, and then the cheese and the mayo just kind of cools it down a little bit. No matter how you make kimchi hot dog though, they're all good. I love kimchi, so you can't really go wrong. You guys, let me know what you thought about this hot dog video, and let me know if you're planning on having a barbecue soon, and if you would try any of these. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time, and I'm so excited to share more um, fun summer content. I wanna go out of the kitchen a little bit. Um, LA, there's full of adventures to be had, and I moved down here to have an adventure, so we're gonna start incorporating more of that into the channel. I hope you'll follow along, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. This right here is a Thai-inspired hot dog.